everyone, so today I am going to doing the, what are some assumptions, that's a hard word to say, um, people, do people have about me or have heard about me, funnily enough, there's hardly any, which is a relief to me, I just tell you too much stuff for you to be like, Steph's got a dog, and I'm like, well yeah, he's behind me, like, what a surprise! <laughs> I don't know, that was a really bad example. These are all like anonymous, so I have no idea who sent them. So, let's get to it. You're tall. I am very tall. I'm like 5 foot 8, which always annoys people. Well, it annoys me. It, well, I, it doesn't annoy me that much, but like, I hardly find people who are like the same height as me. The majority of my friends are a lot smaller than me, so I'm always like, hi. <laughs> You've, you have had a lot of boyfriends. I really haven't, that's the opposite. I had like, boyfriends in like high school. I wouldn't even class them as relationships, because it was just like one of those things in high school where it just happens. I've... I had, I've had two boyfriends, but I wouldn't even class them as relationships, so technically I've had no boyfriends. <laughs> I've also made myself my own clippo, not that that's got anything to do with anything, but you know, it's gonna melt if I just leave it there. <laughs> you don't like Maisie? I do like Maisie, we are very good friends. But just because there was this whole thing that happened about when everybody started saying that me and Maisie weren't friends anymore. Um, but it's just because we don't go to shows anymore together. Just because we're busy at different times. And it's hard to get tickets to road trip now. Like honestly, it stresses me out. I don't know about anybody else. But I nearly didn't go to this tour if I didn't have like great people who found me tickets, so I love you all. <laughs> um, you've got a lot of friends. Um, I don't know, like, I was speaking to my friend, ironically, about this the other day, how I don't have like a massive group of friends, but I have f a lot of different friends, like I've met them all at different times, so my friends aren't friends with each other, if that makes sense. Some of them are, don't get me wrong, but the majority of my friends aren't friends with each other, or like don't, like know of each other, but they don't, like they've never met, so yeah, that's just, <laughs> that's just how it's happened really. I think I've definitely got less friends now than I did, like say in 2016, I've definitely got less friends now but it's what happens. You get into road trip concerts for free. I wish I did. <laughs> like however many years support, I don't know why I looked at my wrist like there was gonna be a watch there, but there's not. I've literally liked road trips since like 2016. I'm still paying for my entry to get in. Don't get me wrong, they deserve all the money that they get from payments like that. But I wish I got into Roderick concerts for free like you do, don't you see my tweets afterwards like pff, anybody got tickets because I haven't <laughs> like I wouldn't be stressing about tickets if I got in for free that would fully make my day make my year if I got into road trip concerts for free finally <laughs> um you think Jack is going going to go out with you I don't <laughs> honestly Jack's lovely I need to stop with this. This can go away a bit. Um, honestly, Jack's like the loveliest person and obviously I find him attractive, like who doesn't? Thanks Leslie <laughs> for that. Um, but no, I don't ever think Jack will ever go out with me. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but you know, maybe sometimes vlogs with me and him from like ages ago may seem like um, I can like I can see where you get that from but I honestly can tell you that I don't think Jack has any form of romantic interest in me whatsoever so I'm sorry to shoot 
that um, assumption down very much, but yeah. Um, this is the last assumption. So, that you didn't just vlog with Jack last year backstage. <laughs> um, honestly, was it last year? I don't even know when it was, but um, we just generally did just vlog. It was great. I missed the days when I actually got into VIP. <laughs> Like, <laughs> this looks so weird. Um, honestly, VIP is great. If you get VIP, well done to you. It's great. It's a great experience. I really enjoy it. Not saying that meet and greet isn't a great experience, but I mean, I feel like I'm less rushed in VIP, but that's just me. Um, but yeah, nothing happened. We just vlogged. You can go watch the vlog. Um, I can't remember which one it is. It's in Manchester. I think it's the Pop Hits Tour Manchester. I could be wrong. But if you want to go see that vlog, <laughs> I will leave it in the link below. Leave it in the link below. Leave it in the description so you can go see. The only... I think I cut bits out, but that's just because I sounded terrible. Like, some of the things that I used to say, like, ugh. In my voice, my voice is like, yeah, so we're gonna go over here, and I'm like, Steph, stop. <laughs> that was my, I hope you enjoyed just like watching me eat this make makeshift clippo. I would recommend buying these, I got them from Tiger. You could probably get them anywhere. Um, so yeah, that was my assumptions tag thing video. Um, obviously, there wasn't many, but that's kind of a relief to me because. I, sometimes assumptions are good, sometimes assumptions are bad. But I feel like I've told all of you guys like so much about me that you don't need to assume anything because it's already here. I hope you enjoyed this video, I hope you have a lovely day and I'll see you very soon. Bye! Also, <laughs> let me know in the comments or DM me anywhere, literally anywhere, um, if you want me to do any specific, I can't say that word, <laughs> videos with anyone about anything, just let me know because I want to know what you want to see on this channel. So yeah, I'll see you soon. <laughs> then there's a hole between for you in the dark, you should know you're beautiful.